In response to Varroa, honeybees have developed natural defense strategies against Varroa and are able to reduce infestations on their own. One example is a trait known as Varroa Sensitive Hygiene, or VSH. VSH involves a complex interplay between the affected bee larvae, the mite, and the nurse bee that is able to detect the infestation and interrupt the reproductive cycle of the mite. The brood comb is made up of cells within which the bee larvae develop. Once the larva is five days old, nurse bees cap each cell. Before the adult nurse bee caps the brood cell, a varroa mite enters it and settles in the larval food at the bottom of the cell. The larva feeds on the brood food, slowly releasing the mite, which will then start feeding on the larva itself. As the varroa feeds on the larva, it transmits infectious viruses that can be fatal. However, the wound and the viral infection trigger an immune response in the larvae. It is thought that the larval response includes the release of volatile compounds or odors. These specific odors can be detected by adult nurse bees with their antenna. When these odors reach the antenna, they may bind to odorant binding proteins. These OBPs facilitate the movement of these odors through the aqueous environment within the antenna to reach sensory receptors. Once the OBP binds the receptor and the receptor is activated, a signal is sent through the sensory neuronal pathways to the brain, which will, in turn, tell the bee to remove the cap of the infested cells using its mouth and legs. The opening of the brood cell is thought to disrupt the reproductive cycle of the mite. A nurse bee can then either remove the affected larvae from the cell or instead recap the cell. Recapping the cell may save the developing bee pupae while still interrupting the reproductive cycle of the mite and therefore reducing the spread of the infestation in the colony.